How to use a snapshot on Google Cloud Platform to backup, restore, upgrade, or downgrade. A snapshot allows you to 1. Backup your website. 2. Restore your website completely, with the SSL and the redirects. 3. Upgrade to a more powerful machine, or downgrade to the free plan. Google's free plan gives you 5 gigabytes of free snapshot storage space, which is more than enough for most small to medium-sized websites. The drawback is that, just like the DNS records, you can only use a snapshot in the project it was created in. You cannot transfer or use the snapshot in another project. Please hit like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Thank you. Create a snapshot. Make sure you are in the project you want to make a copy of. To create a snapshot, go to Compute Engine, then click Snapshot. Go to the top and click Create Snapshot. Give your snapshot any name you want. For Source Disk, click the instance or website you want to create a copy of. For location pick either multi-regional or regional. The free plan is under regional. For select location, US West, US Central, US East 1 is part of the free plan. If you pick anything else you will have to pay. Click create and wait a few minutes for Google to create the snapshot. Snapshot size will tell you the size of your snapshot. As long as you are under a total of 5 GB you can create as many snapshots as you like. To delete a snapshot, click on the snapshot you want to delete. Go to the top and click delete. Restore, upgrade, or downgrade. The following will allow you to 1. Restore your website completely with the SSL, and all the redirects. 2. Upgrade to a more powerful machine, or downgrade to the free plan. To restore, upgrade, or downgrade your website go to Compute Engine, then click Snapshot. Click on the snapshot you want to work with. At the top click Create Instance. This page allows you to create a new VM or virtual machine from the snapshot. Give your new virtual machine any name you want. For region. Remember, the free plan is under region US West, US Central, or US East 1. For zone. Remember, the free plan is under Zone US West, US Central, or US East 1. For series, the free plan is under N1, first generation. All the other series will cost you money. For machine type, the F1 Micro is part of the free plan. If you want to upgrade to a more powerful machine this is where you do it. If you want to downgrade to the free plan this is where you do it. For boot disk. If you do not want to change anything about the hard drive just leave everything as it is, and go to the next step. If you want to upgrade or downgrade your hard drive then click change. Click on the snapshot you want to create a copy of. The boot disk type is where you upgrade or downgrade the hard drive. Remember, the standard persistent disk is part of the free plan. The size of the new hard drive must be equal to or greater than the hard drive of the snapshot. Now, click Select. For access scopes, make sure Allow Default Access is selected. Click Allow HTTP and HTTPS. Click Create. The new instance triggered Google to create a computer-generated recommendation to help me save money. The recommendation provided might not apply. You do not have to use the recommendation. Now, 
Copy the new external IP address that was just created with the snapshot. Now, go to VPC Network and click External IP Addresses. Now, make the IP a static IP. Now, go to Network Services, and click Cloud DNS. Open the DNS zone you want to work with. Now, you have to edit the A record. Click on the icon to the right to edit the A record. Now, just paste in the new external IP address. Click Save. Now wait 5 minutes. Then paste the new IP address into the address bar at the top. You can see that your website is now associated with the new IP address. Deleting the old website. If you do not want to keep getting billed for the website and IP you are not using, then you have to delete it. Go to Compute Engine. Then VM Instance. Now, go to the right side of the instance you want to delete and click Delete. You might have to refresh the page to see that it took effect. If you do not delete the old IP address, Google will keep billing you for it. So, go to VPC Network, and click External IP Addresses. As you can see, you can only delete the IP that is no longer associated with an instance. If the IP is associated with an instance, then it cannot be deleted. Now, click on the IP you want to delete. And at the top right side, click Release Static IP. Please hit like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Thank you.